And now let me show you how to build a new project from scratch using the blank canvas. Let's go to project new, lose all those. Okay, now we have our blank canvas. Starts us out with our first scene. We can add additional scenes. Now we want to use animation sets. These are collections of all the different assets that we can add to our blank canvas. Example, let's use these school related scenes. See, we have a background, we have a bunch of characters, kids, books. Let's start adding some objects here. Let's add a teacher, just click on him. Here he is. We can change his size. We can have him be on the other side of the screen. And we can flip him. Also flip them the other way. Let's give them a blackboard. You can see it's kind of on the wrong side there. So we can click on him, right click, and bring him to the front. So now he's in front there. We can add in a couple of kids. Clock. Now let me show you a little bit more about the timeline. You can see each object I'm clicking on is using up the full timeline. But for example, we can have this boy here come in two seconds in. There he is. Now that's not quite natural when he just kind of pops in. So we can use tweening to add an effect on how he comes in. We can also do the same thing for how he comes out by grabbing this little arrow and pulling it. So if I pull this to the beginning, put this back to the end. And double click here. And here are all the different effects we can do. We have movement. Coming from the sides, up and down, a bit of a bounce in and bounce out, some zooms, some fades, let's have him move in. Double click. Let's play. There we go. Could add in a voice. Add a voiceover, hello class. Position that. We should also add in a background here. If we come back into the animation sets, see it comes with a background. Click on this. We need to send this to the back. Now we can get rid of this blackboard since this already has one. We just click on it, hit delete. Let's move them over a little bit. Hello class. Now we're not limited to just the single animation set. You can mix and match. We come back in, for example, come in here. Add a pirate. boat. Mix and match all these. There's also a special section just for backgrounds and an upload option. So we could upload an image, transparent PNG, background, logo, anything extra that we want to add to our scene. Now, the last option I haven't shown you here is watermark. Now this is good when we want to send a demo video to a client and they haven't paid yet. So we want to make sure they don't just take our sample video and use it directly. Do it like this is a demo. We've got some opacity, some font and size. Just big here. This is a demo. Stick it right on the top. We can also upload a watermark image. Our watermark. Now let me just point out the last couple things on the UI here. Our project, we use new project. 
We can also save a project and open a project. We can save this project, come back in later, delete this after they've paid, render another copy. We have My Purchases. This will keep track of everything that the customer has bought. They either have an access button to kind of learn more about it or an upgrade button to be taken to the purchase page. And finally, there's the help section that will lead to customer support emails and the training. That's a quick demo of the Animation Studio.